Welcome back to the number one Cochran Sports Showdown. It's been the topic that started during the offseason, starting during the preseason, and continuing on during the season. And it looks like the Penguins have finally addressed the third center position trading. Uh, for Riley Sheehan, they sent Scott Wilson in a draft pick to get a lower draft pick, and Riley Sheehan back from Detroit. Andrew Filipponi, we'll start with you. Your thoughts on this trade? Did the Penguins spend too much? Did they finally address a need? Is there more left for them to do? No, I absolutely, I absolutely love it. This is like old school marketplace. You've got a surplus of wheat, so you trade it for corn. I mean, you take what you've got. <laughs> They had ex- played so much Oregon Trail as a kid. <laughs> oh, They've got extra wingers. No dysentery, though. Scott Wilson, you know, a decent four-checker. Guy can make a hit, doesn't score enough for my liking. For a very talented player with size who can kill penalties, score the occasional goal, who's coming off a bad year. Genius. I give Jim Rutherford a ton of credit for this trade. Love it. He got the guy that he aimed for all offseason. I like the deal. I like what Shane can do offensively and defensively. My only concern is that he can't play goal. They have to figure out Antti Niemi slash the backup goalie situation soon. With this many- Chris, I love their goalie depth. Okay, so if Tristan Jari is here tomorrow, I'm okay with their goalie depth. Jari, by the way, not off to a great start in Wilkes-Barre, by the way. It, well, his, his goals against average is probably slightly lower than the seven. <laughs> so, is mine. So, so is mine. You know, I, at the, I know I'm going to sound like Niemi's agent, but was that game on Saturday really his fault? No, they played terrible in front of Your him. Your captain right. takes a stupid penalty right out of the chute. Then he goes in for ten minutes. I don't know. I, I don't know. Sully talks about, hey, I, I want to see Niemi in a game, not in the second game of back-to-back. Well, then start him in so why, why didn't they that. play him yeah. Friday? Right. I, I, that's I the part that. I, I don't understand. I'd like to see him start, you know, obviously I think you're going to see Murray against Edmonton on Tuesday. Play Niemi on Thursday and give the guy a chance. Give him the first of one of those back-to-backs instead of the second when the team plays like garbage in front of him. Rutherford said he was going to play like, what, 30 games this year? Which uh, he may have to with 19 back-to-backs, yeah. and that's fine, but – He's got to get the goals against under a touchdown. Not to mention, he's had to play the second part of back-to-backs on the road against Chicago, twice in Tampa, and they have another back-to-back coming up this following weekend. So we could see another Hey, Tampa's got like that again. clubber lane thing going right now where they I think really they're do. like insulted by what the Penguins have done the last two years and are taking it personally. Our prediction is pain. <laughs> That's a bad way to end it. In the meantime, <laughs> we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're talking Penn State. Big win over Can they keep it going against Ohio State? Our panel weighs in. We come back. Stick around.